On the third Sunday of Pascha, the Holy Orthodox Church remembers Christ's healing of the paralytic man beside the sheep's pool, who had been waiting for 38 years to be cleansed from his infirmity. The ex apostolarion and doxasticon of the day focus on the link between illness and sin and the saving power of Jesus Christ, the physician of our souls and bodies, in healing both our physical and spiritual infirmities. The ex apostolarion of the paralytic in tone 2. <laughs> The Sovereign Man, Befriending Lord, He that is all compassionate, Drew nigh and stood at the sheep's pool, That he might heal men's diseases. And there he found a man that lay, A bed in feebled many years, to whom the Saviour cried aloud, Take up thy bed now, and go forth, Walk in the upright and straight paths. The Doxasticon of the Paralytic in Tone 8 of many years. For the effect of thy voice was seen to be sharper than the infirmity. Wherefore he cast down his heavy burden and carried the weight of his bed. A testimony to the abundance of thy compassion, glory to thee. In these hymns, a question is posed for us faithful to consider. Why does God allow illnesses and sufferings to befall us? The ex apostolarion suggests that Christ's coming to the sheep's pool was that he may heal men's diseases. The hymn also mentions Christ's command to the paralyzed man to take up thy bed and go forth, walk in the upright and straight paths. Christ here links walking in his commandments to bodily well-being. In that sense, illness can be a result of our sins, which God allows so that he may restore us to communion with him. Just as a loving father corrects his children's mistakes by chastising them, so too does God permit us to be ill, so that we may be humbled and learn to trust in Him more. Moreover, the Doxasticon acknowledges that Christ's voice was seen to be sharper than the infirmity. In this, Christ is revealed to have authority even over sickness, alluding to His divinity. Secondly, the location of the event, beside the sheep's pool, foreshadowed the regeneration of baptism. Christ, by his word, renewed the paralytic, revealing a parallel to our renewal by the waters of baptism, when they were healed from spiritual paralysis and began walking on the straight path as Christians. The ex apostolarion asserts that Christ went to the sheep's pool that he might heal men's diseases, not just one man's. We may therefore see ourselves in the position of the paralytic and not limit this occasion to simply a didactic biblical story having been cleansed at our baptism and receiving the same message to go and sin no more. Finally, these hymns transcend the simple purpose of decorating the liturgy with psalmody. The ex apostolarion and doxasticon are instructive and root into our souls, carrying messages that aid us in our path to salvation. 
In the case of the Sunday of the paralytic, these hymns serve as instructions to keep the flame of an upright path burning within us. And, if we do fall into error, to remind us that we have an all-compassionate Saviour, who is far greater than any of our shortcomings.